The Brooklyn Nets have two of the NBA's three most accurate active three-point shooters, Seth Curry and Joe Harris. But there's one more dude, who's literally become the king of the corner three, and his name is Yuta Watanabe. That exact same Yuta Watanabe that Anthony Edwards dunked on in February of 2021. But how did Yuta manage to go from undrafted to one of the Nets' most trusted shooters? It's now been nearly two years since that infamous poster dunk, and NBA fans are seeing Utah in a completely new light. His involvement with the Brooklyn Nets has been unexpected, but still very beneficial to the team. Now in his fifth season as a pro, Watanabe has been flourishing since joining the Nets this past summer. See, for a team that boasts players such as Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving and Ben Simmons, people often fail to acknowledge the importance of the role players surrounding the stars. However, Utah has managed to embrace his role and become a staple in the Nets rotation. Yuta is one of the five players from Japan to ever grace the NBA. It was no surprise that he followed the path of basketball, as both his parents and his sister played the sport professionally in Japan. His lone season of high school basketball in the United States was enough for him to get a spot on George Washington University's roster. After spending four years playing in the nation's capital, Watanabe entered the 2018 NBA draft, but unfortunately did not get selected. The Nets and Watanabe are no strangers. After not getting selected in the draft, Utah played for the Nets in the NBA Summer League, which earned him a two-way contract with the Memphis Grizzlies and their NBA G League affiliate, the Memphis Hustle. The beginning of his career wasn't really a bed of roses, as Watanabe became a swinger between the NBA and the G League for the Grizzlies, the Toronto Raptors and their respective G League teams. It looked like he was everywhere, but in the summer of 2022, Yuta signed with the Nets and is having the most productive season so far in his entire career. During his time at George Washington, Yuta gained a reputation as a consistent scorer and rebounder, with the second most blocks in school history, blocking a whopping 147 shots. He also established himself as a defensive presence, which directly translated to the NBA. Watanabe has become a spark off the bench for the Nets and has blossomed as both a scorer and playmaker. He's reliable and always open. But most importantly, he's become more confident and effective from beyond the arc, adding to the Nets' threat from three alongside Durant, Irving, Seth Curry, Joe Harris and Patty Mills. At the time of making this video, he's shooting 55.3% from the field and 52.1% from three-point range. You can expect him to be at the right place on offense and sprint to get to a good defensive position. What's also special is the fact that he's six foot eight, which is far from short, but he plays taller than he already is. He's athletic, yet graceful to watch when he plays. He can make it look like he's going for a layup, but instead make a pass, as if he changed his mind between the time his soles leave and land back on the hardwood. He's literally playing like a volleyball setter. He's receiving passes in the air and making the next pass before his feet touch the floor. He's always available for his teammates and his athleticism makes him hard to read for defenders, which is a powerful combo. When the Nets acquired Watanabe from Toronto, nobody knew what his role would be in Brooklyn. Even he said that when he signed with the Nets, no one expected him to play nearly as much. Even he wasn't expecting it. He came into the training camp with a non-guarantee, with his only goal being to make a team. And while his impact on the team came as a surprise, Watanabe's body of work has made him a staple to fans southeast of the Brooklyn Bridge. Utah made the most of his minutes so far this season, so expect him to continue stepping up when needed as the Nets try to find the route to a championship.